it really is a beautiful place where we live. Don't you think? Here's a neat spot that Masaki just brought me to. We just come over this bridge and we're going over this river past this Ryokan, which is a Japanese inn and through this area here. Isn't it interesting just how... Look at these, look at these trees. This is momiji, which is uh, maple. Look at the leaves, the beautiful green leaves. Aren't they amazing? Imagine what they look like in autumn when it all turns to reds and yellows. There's a river down there. This is a gorgeous place. Do you remember that temple? We sort of showed you a little bit in the trees before our ride began. Well, this is it. And guess what, Robin? It's open, so we should be able to get a peek inside. Here is a, uh, you swing this and it rings a gong and then you clap your hands three times and throw some money in here and you make a prayer. Uh, but let's take a look inside. So you can, you can buy stuff which are like little, you know, donations to the temple. Oh, this guy's, this will blow you away guys. Look at this. Is this awesome or what? And all of the things and stuff that you see in here that looks gold is gold. See? The chandeliers, gold, all this old tatami here. But is this ever cool or what? Let's take a zoom in and look at the Buddha here before the battery runs out. Hmm. It's a little bit dark, but I think, I hope, you can get an idea of what it looks like in here. Very nice. Very peaceful, very quiet. Well, there you go, Robin. You get to see the inside of a temple right next door to Masaki's house. And that's the end of our ride today, folks. Ah, if only you could smell the incense. What a great way to go. See ya. One of the good traditions in Japan, it takes a while to get used to, is that people always give you something. So when you see people, you have to give them something. It, it, it can be frustrating at times, but you get used to it, I guess. I'm still not really used to it after 18 years. Anyways, you know, earlier I gave them some of the uh, deep fried uh, tofu, right? Well, in return, they just gave me a nice bag of uh, pickled shallots and some other vegetables and stuff like that. But the cool thing is, <laughs> we had talked about it and they had run out of wild boar meat so instead they gave me a nice big chunk of, of bear meat so I think tonight I'll be cooking that up for dinner when I get home it should be good I'll have to do it when Mayu's not around maybe because it might smell up the house I don't know you know deer makes the house stink but wild bear well I mean how many tame bears do you eat right yeah bear meat that's really cool anyways this is the end of the show so we're heading home and we hope I hope that you have a great and blinding from the sun back there day. Bye!